What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane. We are up against a Twisted Fate. He took TP and Flash is running first strike. Got a little bit of a scrap going on up here. We might be able to come up here. I'm coming, brother. But we're also giving the enemy team some time to come up here too. He got a good amount of damage off on him, but I don't think it's going to amount to anything. I wonder if he got his Flash or anything. Minions have spawned. I don't think he stops his back. I think, if anything, he takes a tower shot for it. But yeah, we're up against Twisted Fate. The enemy team have a really, really good team comp, in my opinion. They got the Shin, uh, Twisted Fate for double global, then Zack, who's going to just be able to cause a ruckus, Jinx, and then this guy as well. So they have a lot of CC and just a really good team fight. This guy's going to shove us in immediately. That kind of sucks. I was hoping he would, like, hold the wave right here, and I could just come up and get a free... E into the wave and he still might we'll see we just want the first three minions to get low enough to where we can E and actually get all three of them just like this we'll get a little auto onto him he actually tanked up a lot of the minion aggro there so did not come out too bad on that trade and he's gonna let us get the first four minions absolutely good I wish they were a little bit more squishy, and I because I run to try a Swarm Surge. I've been seeing a little bit of uh, the higher Elo Fizz players running it. I didn't get my level two. That sucks. If that minion would have died sooner, I could have got a fat trade off on him. But instead, I I was expecting coming down off of that E to hit level two, and now I was gonna just auto W him and bail out. But that is not the way it went. Nice. We didn't get hit by that. That was really good. We just weather the storm early. Once we get our level 3, we can look to trade with the guy a little bit. Kind of look for kill pressure as well. See, I want to pressure him off of this cannon minion. Ooh, one more auto. He might be killable here soon. I'm going to get his flash here. It's really, really good. No flash on Twist of Fate means he should be... Very killable, level 6. And he's obviously going to miss this big wave as well. So very good for us. Oh, no, I missed the cannon. That sucks. But that's all good. He missed a big amount of, like, CS right here. And he's going to have to TP back in as well. I think we get this. Nice. Yeah, we're actually going to come out very, very far ahead of him. Especially if he's not going to TP here, which it... Okay, he did. I'll look to trade with him as soon as I can because I want to scare him off the wave. We could definitely look for trades onto him here. Especially if our uh, jungler comes. I'm going to get stunned here, but that's fine. He has no flash, so... I just let my jungler lead the charge here. I'm fine with taking that. My jungler should kill him here. He has no stuns. There's no flash auto him. I'm going to die here to this guy, though, potentially. Nice. That's huge. We just fail. I got to reset. I can't stay there. And he has no teleport either. And hopefully Zach pushes this wave in. Even if he doesn't, we come out super far ahead. Grab that, that, and that as well. I don't mind grabbing a control ward. I don't like to buy too many of them during a game. I think this wave, it might just be super even or slightly pushing into him. But either way, I don't think we'll miss a whole lot for backing right there. Nice. He has no sums either. And we're up on him big time in CS. And then obviously the kill right there is going to be pretty helpful. These guys got to be careful. Zach's for sure going to be coming to that area. See, I don't know if we'll get this one. It'll be very close. Nice. All right, getting pretty good here. We're going to just trade very hard into him here. That's actually very, very worth it. Because he's super chunked out here. He can't even step up to the wave. Zach might be looking for me, though. This guy is pretty boned here. Oh, under the tower. I trolled this up, boys. That sucks so much. I griefed that fight up so bad. If I didn't do that, man, I would have had complete control over the lane here. Definitely my bad. Just got a little too aggressive there. 
I, I the best play for me there in that scenario was to just take that initial trade, get him very chunked out, and then back off and force him to extend in the lane. But that's 100% on me. That was just a misplay. Zach playing pretty well, just playing around me. It's all good, though. We will come back from that for sure. Just a little bit of a greedy play by your boy. It happens. I'm going to come over here, although I'm not level 6. Oh, he died. I'm not even sure how he died, but now Twist of Fate can roam over here. And he's going to for sure. I'm just going to try and stop that as much as possible. Kind of sucks that Kane died there. Because now this Zack is really going to be getting going. And I, my wave was shoving into this guy, so pretty gnarly for me. Get a decent little trade on him there, though. Unanswered. I'm going to come up here and help take this with my jungler. Because two grubs is really pretty solid. I'd rather be here just in case if Zack does try to come contest. Kill this guy for sure. I'm gonna come over here. Not gonna let him take that for free. I have ult. If this guy comes over here, we should be able to kill him. Back off. Let me hit this ward, bro. <laughs> that was a weird, yeah. I think Kane just needed to let me clear that wave, that ward, and then he could have came in. But it's all good. All right, we have the wave in a real good spot right here. Uh, just crash there. I think our bot lane might be toast, so I have to shove this out as fast as possible. I mean, it'll be close. They, they're full health. Nice. They got the kill down there. Well played. They're getting Shin ult, and they have Zac down there as well. That's so tragic. Five bot. At least Shin got both of those kills. That's actually really good for us. Yeah, that sucks. Not the greatest, but it kind of is what it is. They have a double global team comp. I think we might be able to stop this, though. I have ult up. I think we can stop this dragon take for sure. Yeah, we can stop this dragon take. Did we steal the Drake? We did not. I might be dead here if I get bombed. I got CC here. Ah, that sucks. She's one shot. Good thing is, Urgot is getting a lot of damage here on the tower. Not the greatest. I mean, we, we killed the Huey. Um, We're just going to go for Lich Bane. I would like to go Storm Surge. I really do, but they're just too tanky. With the uh, Zack and this guy. And eh, maybe we will. We'll see. What is uh what is Storm Surge build out of exactly? I think this and this. You know what? Screw it. We'll go for it. This guy did get a little red buff, which is annoying. But all in all, we're doing pretty decent. Urgot should, honestly, with as big of a lead as he just got from being top lane, he really should just hard smash. I'm going to come up here because this guy's top. I'm going to come dive this for sure. I don't have ult, but we should be able to dive her, especially if they can poke her down. Nice, they just get her. I don't think we can kill this guy under the tower. I think it's a bit of a bait. Now we bail, we bail here. TF, TPing down, that's fine. We got his TP. I'm coming back mid. No, I gotta come here. I don't think he should go for that. I'm just gonna come clear the wave mid. Some CS here. I think I might do some penetration boots. That see, that's why I, I didn't think he should go for that. Jinx is mid. If, if she comes right here, and breeds and goes this way, I might be able to kill her. Only problem is this way being here. Ah, that sucks. If yeah, if these guys gotta be careful. That's a very very sketchy dive. Yeah, there's the Jinx. Although, I am going to get a good pressure here, though. 
There's the TF ult. Good ult by Lulu. All right, yeah, we're getting really good pressure here mid, though. Got a lot of damage on the tower. I should be able to push this next wave in fast, too. Because TF doesn't have his TP. He used it down into the bot lane. First tower by our uh, Urgot. Really good. And I'm just getting a lot of CS here, too. All right, let's see. Do we have Storm Surge? We do. That's massive. All right, we'll reset. Grab Storm Surge. Does that stop my back? No, it doesn't. Urgot is probably dead there. This guy with the killing spree. I think they need to go for her. This guy does this. He needs to hold someone. Nice. Kind of crazy that Urgot died up there. With his feds as he is. I guess we just give those Void Grubs. Because they're only going to get four. They're not going to be able to spawn Void Wings. With four. But we should be contesting these next dragons. Let's come get some sweeping as we come through here. That way they don't can't tell our potential roams. I might be able to get some pressure on this tower, but they're definitely on boy grubs. But I think every little bit of pressure we can get here is good. I gotta back off here. Oh, that hits. Double E there. Zach's in the area. I might be toast. I might just have to flash this. That sucks so much. I might try to catch. Way as he's roaming back down here. Yeah, this Zach's playing pretty heavily to mid, the mid lane. He's a little too fast. I don't think I can do anything to him there. I think they got to be careful. Twisted Fate could just ult down there. I'm gonna come over here. I think my team might just be dead though. Get a night off and maybe kill that guy. We just bail out here now. I think I'm fine. We just run. Um, that sucks. I think I'm just still dead. I might just be able to waste their time at least, though. Yeah, I might be able to get away from this. Actually, sneaky. Sneakily. He smited me? Bro, you're kidding me. Can we do something here? That sucks, man. Mm, mm, I'm wondering if I should go. I'm just going to go full. Full sin. Grow the penetration boots here. This Zack is taking the game over. Can we do dragon, please? Or something. The Zack's grabbing everything. And our bot lane is super fed. Orgot's going to be applying a lot of pressure, but those I'm not sure if Swifties are the play because they have CC, CC, and CC, and he has CC, so hard CC too, so I'm not sure why the Swifties. It's not like they have a whole bunch of slows. I think we go for this guy. I think we go for this guy for sure. He's, he can only use his stun on one person, so yeah, that's a free kill. Huge. Oh, our boy got gone in on though down here. I'm coming here. I'm coming here. I might be able to get him. It'll be close. I think he's... She needs to run that way. Oh, he... Fish. Nice, she gets him. It's actually huge. Very, very big. Thinking way too many tower shots here, though. I have a lot of damage. Zach's right here. Our Urgot's just pushing the wave. Instead of coming over here. Not a big fan of this Urgot, I'll be honest. He might scale up pretty hard, but he really is not positioning around any of these objectives. You know what? If I had ult, I would really try to kill her here, but I think I would just be ending if I don't. Oh, they see me here. Arcane is not that great either, to be honest. Um, We're just going to, like I said, we're just going to continue to go full send here. We'll go the Sheen, I think. We'll go Zonya's third item. Yeah, we're not going to have a, a lot of, like, survivability, but we are going to have a lot of damage here, this build. 
definitely doing it's a pretty even game all in all i think somehow even though ergot had all that time up top lane alone he's actually very very far behind this guy is way stronger he's gonna be having way more impact as well i might be able to catch her here nah yeah the ergot i think like just super splitting mindset he kind of already screwed himself he got the tower and i think he just should have looked to play to make plays An enemy has been hopefully seen. kane could kill that chick nope the zack is there i might be able to get away but he's probably gonna bail before i get there i would assume yeah he's bailing out top i'll just grab this ward they're making some plays in that top lane which is good to get our boy Ergot back into the game a little. I could probably all in him here and kill him, but I think it's better to just grab the tower and then probably head bot lane. I don't know. My team's looking to make a play. For sure, their whole team's right around this area right now. I'm going to come over here just to... Oh, what am I doing? What was that ult? That was a great ult a mega grief ult. I'm just going to come bot lane. This Urgot is kind of uh, going to bait the whole team into a bad fight here. Wanna see a trick? I'm a little low, but I should be able to defend this tower. It's a lot of golden XP here. All right, let's get a reset in. I think we can grab, yeah, we can grab another alternator. They'll juice us up pretty good. Probably will end up giving over this tower, but it is what it is. I think we'll sell that and grab this. No. We're going to be pretty strong. Once we grab the Lich Bane, we should be able to one-shot any one of these guys. I want to go catch that bottom wave, but I feel like I need to come position around my team here. Potential good team fight. Yeah, that ult right here was so crazy. I don't know what I was aiming at. They just have such a good team fight, man. And it's going to be hard to commit onto them. Yeah, these guys got to be careful here. Because they have Shin ult. So Shin can just ult to uh, pretty much any fight. I think they're just going to kill this Urgot over and over and over. He's not really respecting how weak he is and how strong they are. I think I shove one more wave. And then look to group up with my team and try to do something. I have more CS in the Twisted Fate, but he's uh, making the rounds a little bit better. Which he should, anyways. He's got a global ultimate. Oh, this is going to be bad, I think, mid lane. I'm going to run over here, but I think I got just toast. A double E just to get to the fight a little sooner. He's got his ult. I feel like he should just use it. Big Storm Shirt procs there. I think we can keep going, even. Uh, my ult isn't, or my E is not up soon enough. That sucks, man. Is A not able to do anything? He has no mana. Man, I'm so close to my item. Yeah, I think we need to do Dragon. Urgot's just going to split, though. And I have to sit here and wait for this. This is like 30 gold. It sucks for sure, but man, is it a massive power spike. He gets a power, and, that gives me it, and then I can run catch his top lane. Not too bad. Not too bad. I definitely feel the lack of, like, survivability. This has done 600. It hasn't really done a whole lot, but I think it'll scale. Urgot keeping up with his I mean he's getting towers right he's applying pressure he got us that dragon just from his pressure so it's honestly not that bad try and wave clear here get some solo XP and gold we have more CS than Twisted Fate but I think we're about even in terms of gold because he has two items as well I think I shove one more wave here oh not with the Shin being here because if he taunts me into some Zack CC I'm just screwed We'll just kind of come up here and grab a little fruit. Uh, 
maybe I'll just reset here. Don't know how much we can really do. Because they have Shin ult, right? Like, Shin can just ult and exact in the area like that. Ah, uh, we can't. This guy's down here. And they have Shin in the area. Picking a fight is pretty bad here, honestly. Just going to corral this whole wave up and clear it with E. Bad fight, bad fight, boys. Mega bad fight for us to take there. Yeah, they're about to just get all in and killed. I'm just going to keep splitting here. I have Lich Bane, so. The good thing is that Shin's getting these kills. I honestly think I just split here. I have a decent sized wave. I wonder how many of them are coming back to me right now. There's the Jinx wave clear. Got a lot of damage on that tower, though. I'm not going to hold this guy just to get him away from me. I still think his max level jump might get to me, but that's fine. That's huge. We pulled him off a of mid. I got a tier two, and I started working on that tier, uh, that inhibitor tower. Now the question is, do we go Rabadons or do we go Zonyas? I think Rabadons, boys. Like I said, we're gonna go full, full hand here. This is weird that they're all aggro in the, the shin. No alt out of either one of them. Has been slain. Both of them have ours up. We just gotta give. Can we do anything here? Probably not. Got the Shin ult. That's good. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Just play and scale, I guess. I feel like red blue cane this is a terrible game for blue cane they're just gonna shred that yeah they just shred it we can maybe look for a fight afterwards but if we all die after they get baron we're kind of screwed if we can win a fight here that's huge they're so low we might be able to just win this though Zack is dead, too. I mean, we killed three. We can just potentially siege here. Probably not, though. They're just going to get their Baron. Nah, we can't do it. Not with this guy being there. Hit the tower. Nice. Big. I mean, we keep going. Keep going here. For sure. We keep going here. Can at least get in him and then bail. Now we bail. Bail. Pretty good. That was, you know, all things considered, they did get Baron. We wiped three of them though and got the inhibitor. That's gonna apply a lot of pressure for us. Not bad, not bad. Of course, her static shift stopped my back. That does suck so much. Yeah, we can't fight that. These guys have to not die here. Just gotta flash and survive. I mean, we killed the TF. But they also have Jinx here. I'm just gonna pressure her. I don't think I can kill her, though, without Ignite up. It's the only problem. The dragon's up in 11, and our ADC is down. So that's pretty... Pretty terrible. Yeah, we give that up for a ward. We definitely don't need to fight this. I think we sell this, though. One jump ahead of you. Oh, man. I kind of wish I stayed in the lane because I might have been able to just pressure this. I mean, we can maybe fight it. We're going to either win or lose off the back of it, though. If we can get a big fear here. It'd be actually huge. I think I died, though. Yeah, we needed Urgot resets on his fears. I don't think they win this. Taunt. 
That sucks. Honestly, if I would have just ran here, I potentially could have won the game for us. Yeah, I, if I ran here, I think I could have won the game for us, honestly. Maybe. It, it would have been close. We needed a big Urgot fear here. I still think the game is super winnable. This sack is just hard carry. Honestly, both of these guys. <laughs> I, I hate when people are like this. Like, man is just complaining, talking about giving up already. Like, bro, the game is not lost by any means. Yeah, they're, it, this is a very, very even game. I mean, they have very strong players, but it's an even game. All it takes is one good team fight for us. Um, I wonder if they have vision throughout here. Does that land? It does land. I'd be able to kill this idiot too. Oh, this is not my teammate. I am great in that. I thought that was my teammate. We can win this fight though. We gotta kill him. Kill this guy. He's the damage dealer. Look at that, boys. Game winning play. Just hit the towers. GG. Let's go, boys. That's how you like to see it. The Fizz game-winning play. There it is. FF, right? All right, boys. There it is. Fizz mid versus Twisted Fate. Take it to the after action. All right, fellas. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Twisted Fate mid. And yeah, this game was... It was it was honestly a very, very close game. An extremely competitive game. Um, we definitely had... <laughs> we had our... our Jungler, who was very upset. I don't know if he was tilted or what. Compla I don't know what he was complaining about. Something about there's no armor penetration. Even though I think our Urgot actually rushed a Black Cleaver. I think this was like his first item. So he had armor pin. The Varus also has armor penetration in the Ginsu's. I think, right? Basic attacks. Uh... Yeah, no, it doesn't give any armor pin anymore, huh? Okay, well, he's got the Bork and then he has Terminus. Yeah, I guess that that maybe that's what he was talking about. But I mean, this guy dealt 26,000 damage most in the game. As for me, um this build path was very unique. Uh definitely feels like a feast or famine build. We had a very solid laning phase. I think this game would have went way smoother had I not entered that one kill after getting being 10 on the on the twist of fate and lane. I was just greeting for more kills because that slowed my tempo down so much and it completely blew my lane lead that I had. But other than that, uh I think for sure the Storm Surge, Lich Bane, and double, you know, just the ro crazy amount of front-loaded raw damage we had won us that last fight. We landed an amazing ult onto the Jinx, killed her, and then pretty much, I think we got the Storm Surge proc on her and someone else, and then we almost 100 to 0 the Hui as well. And I honestly thought it was only Jinx and Wei. I thought for sure I was about to kill both of them and get out clean. But we killed them, drew the rest of their team into a bad fight, and then we, my team just 4v3 them and... Yeah, you saw what happened there at the end of the game. So that that play led us to win the game, and I do think it was because I had so much raw damage. Um, but yeah, not having the Zonyas in team fights did feel pretty uh, pretty bad. Basically, when you're in, you're in, you know. But the damage was absolutely nice. The penetration boots felt good as well. We definitely, I mean, twenty two thousand damage next to um, the Twisted Fate and our. ADC, we dealt the most damage in the game, so not too bad at all. We actually got 27 LP from that, boys, so disgustingly juicy gains. If we can, I'm going to play another one. If we can win another game, too, and still hold that, get 27, we'll be up to 77 or 79. So we only need two more wins to promote to Emerald 2, and then if we get into Emerald 2, we're in, like, earshot of, of Diamond. But, uh, but yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, I really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps grow our community, helps us get discovered by YouTube. And, yeah, stick around for the next video.